Hey everyone, we're back with the iPhone 3GS and this time we are doing the ultimate iPhone browser smackdown. Uh, we are going to put the iPhone 3G up against the iPhone 3GS. Uh, the Both of them are running iPhone 3.0 firmware, which means both of them have the new Nitro JavaScript engine. So uh, it is an equal race except for the new processors inside the iPhone 3G. S, which has uh, an improved graphics core, an improved CPU, which is a faster speed and has better pipes and uh, better cache, and it's got double the RAM. Uh, so let's see how it does. Okay, so here we go. We have the iPhone 3G on the left, the iPhone 3GS on the right. I'm going to go into the settings first, and whoa, that pops up fast on the 3GS. Okay, I'm going to go into the settings first, and I'm going to go to Safari. And I'm going to clear out everything just to make sure... Hey, look, Kevin, JavaScript's on by default. Sorry. Just to make sure that um, everything is nice and uh, fair. They're both on Wi-Fi uh, on the same network, so no advantage for uh, the 3G versus uh, 3.5G. And let's go to Crackberry first, our good friend Crackberry Kevin. And here we go, and the race is on. The iPhone 3GS, so far the blue bar is going fast. I'll do a little bit of traditional. Ooh, Trebek! Crackberry.com is rendered already on the iPhone 3GS, and it is still going on the iPhone 3G. And it has got a fair bit of distance left to cover. Um, I think the JavaScript um, going through the much faster CPU is making a big difference uh, because you can see it's not going a little ways and stopping, going a little ways and stopping. It's it's smashing through that JavaScript. Um, let's try it again. We're going to do our... Uh, well, hold on a second. There we go. It pops up much faster on the 3GS. We're going to go to precentral.net where our uh, friend Dieter has been doing all manner of Palm Pre videos lately. Uh, and again, the iPhone 3G is just, 3GS, sorry, is just smoking its way through these. Uh, and the 3G is stalled again, I'm guessing again on parsing JavaScript. There it goes, but the blue bar, she ain't a finished. Um, I will spare you the Jeopardy music this time. Let's just see how long this takes, and there we go. All right, now we're going to go back to the mothership, to the iPhoneBlog.com. Uh, we're going to see how this comes through. It's a new soul. Welcome to this strange world of totally beating the pants off of last year's model. Wow. Uh, same thing again and again. Good, finished. And the last one we're going to do is an homage uh, to Steve Jobs because this is the, t the site that he uses all the time to show speed, uh, the New York Times. And again, it just pops up. The difference is really appreciable. And I don't want to say I told you so, but like I said, uh, Apple at the announcement, they had me on speed. It's the difference between a 486 and a Pentium. I forget who said that. Someone in the blog sphere said it, so credit to whomever did, but uh, it really is that big a difference. It's like if your car could suddenly accelerate twice as fast, or you know, you get a new laptop that's twice as fast, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like much, but then you try to go back and it's real difficult. Uh, all right, so that's it. Big difference for the 3GS. Okay, that was our browser smackdown. Uh, Dieter is doing a similar showdown, but between the uh, Palm Pre and the iPhone 3GS. So we'll uh, have that for you soon. And we'll be back with uh, more of the iPhone 3GS on uh, theiphoneblog.com. Thanks, guys.